The throw taken in by Sims. And Sims lost it. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. Smith's pass complete. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. It leads to second and ten. Holmes will try again on second down. And going deep for Hill. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. 10. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill taking it in as his guys continue to pour it on. And that, boys and girls, is an NFL record sixth touchdown reception. The record has stood since 1950. What a game. How about that? Because so many things have to go right in order for it to happen. Not just him catching the passes, someone delivering it accurately, offensive line giving them time to throw the ball. A true team record, but he stands above it because he was on the receiving end of so many great plays. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. And they're able to ground it in there on the two-point try. And you and I were talking before the game that two-point conversions from the 15-16 season, what has changed, what hasn't changed, partner? Yeah, I'll tell you what's changed is just your, no your normal strategy because now you're either kicking the football with the ball on the 15-yard line or if you decide to go for two, they put it on the two-yard line. So what do you... And he can't field it clean. Now a hit and a loose football. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Still going inside the 30. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. Room to run at the 50. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Covered by the Chiefs. Oftentimes, when we talk about piling on in any subject, it's a negative. In this case, for this team, it's a real positive. Just scored. Now they go down, knock the ball free, get it back. They got a chance to really increase their lead and put themselves in the driver's seat. On the other side, a little insult added to the injury. They're in a bad spot. Going deep here for Watkins. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Second and 10. Mahomes now to throw. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Tyreek Hill, 59 yards. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Andy Reid never wanted to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. And the two-point conversion is no good. That keeps Tough the there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And this is going to be covered up. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the security. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. Down the Are numbers. Like there he goes. The 20. 10. 5. Patrick Mahomes. 
sacked. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the defense. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. That's the end of the An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Washington, 19. The question to be asked, where does this game go from here as we are back? And a mistake on the lateral. It's a loose ball. And he will get back to at least cover this. Certainly a sigh of relief there. But his offense is going to be set up deep in their own territory now. I didn't do this in college, but I did it in high school. When you return kicks and you lose it yourself, the panic that goes through you and the determination to get the ball back, I don't even know how to describe it. And I think we just saw an example there. Yeah, and the relief when you get it back like he did. Yeah, you go to the sidelines, you know you're going to get yelled at, but you can handle it because you got the ball back. And got his man complete. It's nearly a 40-yard gain on the opening play of the quarter. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one, and they've certainly been on point throughout and they hook up again for another big play the big play has them all the way out near midfield for first and ten from the shotgun it's a give to bell and they're well past midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40 an 11 yard pickup and it's enough for a chiefs first down so they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is. It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play call is working very well for them right now. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. It's 26. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Mahomes gets it out quickly, and it's complete out wide. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. On second down and four, Mahomes. And he slings one that's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the all-pro tight end, the intended receiver. And it's third and four. Here's Mahomes to throw. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller, and he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Intercepted by Washington. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going. And the Chiefs are going to get him. from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. And they need 
need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Smith. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. Well, he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right? Yeah, you don't do I ever. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. And he's got it. They add on more. A little salt in the wound. Two-point conversion makes this lead even bigger. I guess when you're hot, I mean, I would just go ahead and take the extra point and move on, but apparently they've got something to prove. Almost feels like something was said this week, and they wanted to make sure that they laid it on them in this game. This taken in about four yards deep, and no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25 yards. Look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them. <laughs> the coaches from all the way up here, they were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way. Because turnovers, they... And now a fumble. The ball's out, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Now Edwards Alaire, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. On third down, here's Edwards Alaire. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Don't do us like that. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. From the 39, Mahomes. And it's knocked away and incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. 